Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to essentially be letting AI do work for us and make money for us uh, by using it in our Shopify print-on-demand series. Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to be creating money-making blogs for our print-on-demand store. So, I'm going to get straight to the point with this. We're not going to waste any time. You guys know we're in, uh, we're essentially creating a whole entire series uh, this is our 17th video in the print-on-demand Shopify series. If you want to build your own print-on-demand Shopify store, this is the series for you. We literally have everything from absolute start uh, to every step of the way hand-holding you through the process. So I'm going to be showing you guys everything here, and I'm going to be explaining everything, okay? So uh, to be clear, um, what we're going to be doing today is doing blogs for our for our website. I'm going to show you guys just the gist of how it's going to work and how I'm going to set things up to not only save time and save effort. Now, I'm actually not going to write these blogs. I'm going to have an artificial intelligent tool write these blogs for me uh, because that's what it's going to save time. It's going to save money. It's going to save effort. Now, the tool that I'm using is Typewriter Pro, uh, which is my um, or Typewriter AI, which is my AI tool here that I'm using. And um, you could go over to typewriterai.app to check out this tool. It is a franchise tool from Bots and Apps. Uh, $29.99 a month for the Pro package, $19.99 a month for the Mini, or $9.99 for the Content Fixer. To write the blogs, you're either going to be using the Mini or the Pro. I'm currently using the Pro. Okay, so I'm going to just show you guys how this is going to work. And I'll leave a link in the description into uh, the, the AI writing tools. I'm going to leave a uh, link to the YouTube channel that I've created around that. Um, and I'm going to leave a link in the description to the um, the actual tool to show you uh, how to use it and, and get that done uh, and, and uh, get access to the tool. So let's go ahead and get started. So this tool is essentially going to write the content for us. Now, uh, my big recommendation is when you're utilizing blogs, you got to understand that blogs are going to generate SEO based traffic to your website. Okay. And that's going to be about 70 to 80% of the traffic that it's going to generate. Unless somebody takes the blog and shares it and then you get shares on social media and then people start clicking that way and visiting your blog that way. That's a completely different scenario. Um, but once again, different scenario, different situation. Uh, so Essentially, we're going to be writing the blog um, for the purpose of SEO traffic. I don't want to argue too much about if tr SEO traffic is legitimate. If it helps, it 100% helps. It 100% makes people money. I have a, a portfolio of over 40 different blogs that generate an income for me through SEO on a daily basis. So I know how beneficial these things can be. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be writing Dublin, Ireland, things to know before you visit right? And so what I'm going to do is this is just a simple blog topic, okay? It's not necessarily SEO researched. The beautiful thing with uh, Google now is that Google, for blogs, you don't necessarily have to have a word-for-word -word, uh, match with SEO specifically on blog posts. Google will match your blog post to other related topics based on the content that you have with inside your blog, okay? So I'm going to go over here to DaVinci 2, and I'm just going to type in this title here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for an outline. So I want a blog outline. I'm going to hit right here. Okay. So it's processing and it's doing its thing. And then we have finally an outline. So I'm going to take this outline, copy it, and paste it. So here we have introduction. Here we have five reasons to visit Dublin. Uh, then number three, top 10 things to do in Dublin. Number four is five day Dublin itinerary. And then number five, it says where to stay in Dublin. And then finally the conclusion. So what I'm going to do is uh, take things uh, step by step. The first thing is I do not want to mention where to stay in Dublin because uh, I just feel like that's, you know, doesn't really matter. So I'm going to mention foods, foods to try in Dublin. That's what I'm going to do here. Uh, five day itinerary, uh, top 10 things to do in Dublin. These are pretty much the same. So I'm just going to uh, change the this for top five things to do in Dublin. So five, top five things to do in Dublin. I'm going to copy this. And the number doesn't matter. Top three, top five, top two, whatever. And then here, we're going to have uh, five reasons to visit Dublin. I'm going to get rid of these little numbers here. 
and I'm just going to set these up as bullet points. So just like that, okay? And I'm also going to get rid of this conclusion and this introduction. So this is essentially my goals right here. I have five uh, reasons to visit Dublin, top five things to do in Dublin, uh, foods to try out in Dublin. That's right. Just like that. Okay. So very simple. Now, why am I doing this? Well, it's very simple. I actually sell uh, Irish related clothing. So I have, for example, a Dublin hat, a Dublin t-shirt, a Dublin whatever. So I'm, I'm building these blogs. Now, some people are going to ask me, are, are blogs necessary? Well, if you want to give yourself the biggest chance to become successful and make money online, uh, blogs are something you're going to take advantage of. Do everybody take care advantage of blogs? Absolutely not. There's a lot of people that don't, don't care, don't want to use them. It is what it is, right? You can't, f you can only take the horse to the water, but you can't force them to drink, basically. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue here. So I'm going to search five reasons to visit Dublin. Just like that. Five reasons to visit Dublin. And I'm going to also leave this on blog outline just so I can see the different reasons that are going to come up. So the food, the history, the culture, the scenery. So perfect. Um, that's what the AI is telling me. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to type in five reasons, right? Five reasons to visit Dublin, Ireland, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to format this into a paragraph two heading, or excuse me, a heading two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to paste this kind of like that, the text, right? So uh, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one by one and include text in each topic. So five reasons to visit Dublin, Ireland, and then I'm going to say Dublin, Ireland, food. I'm typing this in my AI tool. So Dublin, Ireland food. And then what I need here is I'm going to look for some, let's see here. We have all these different ideas. So we have, uh, let's go into blog intro. That's what I'm really going to go for. Cause I don't want to go too deep into it because we have a section called foods to trial in Dublin, right? So I'm going to type in write intro. So now what it's doing is it's writing an introduction to the topic of the Dublin, Ireland food. The content is processing. Let's go ahead and rewrite this. I probably made a mistake here. Dublin, Ireland food um, is great. Let me just write it like that. Dublin, Ireland food is great. So let me type here, uh, right? Oh, I sh should have added a keyword, but it is what it is. All right, so here we go. So we got some content. So the food in Dublin, Ireland is great. Uh, people are friendly and the atmosphere is perfect. The city is a variety of restaurants to choose from. Okay, so this is perfect. So I'm going to take all this, right? And I'm going to add to my clipboard. And I'm going to go over here to the food and paste it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to capitalize this section here. Well, not really capitalize. I'm adding it as a heading three. And this is going to just be purely paragraph-based text. Now, mind you guys, I'm doing this uh, in front of you guys live um, you know, there's a lot more things that I could do. I just don't want to spend an hour or two hours doing this in front of you guys, just so you guys can get the concept of how this is done. Okay. So I'm going to change, you know, there's small things I need to change, obviously. Like for example, this shouldn't be heading. This should be paragraph just like that. Okay. The people, um, I'm going to go over here and say the people, in the AI writer, the people in Dublin, Ireland are great. Very nice. And um, very friendly. Something like that, right? It doesn't have to make too much sense uh, because the AI is going to take care of everything for us. That's a nice thing about using AI. So I'm going to go here and type write. And it's going to basically write uh, everything for us. So I'm going to write the, it says the people in Dublin Island are great. They're very nice and very friendly. Um, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type in once I was walking in Dublin, Ireland, completely lost and needed some directions. This nice couple helped me this nice couple helped me get uh, help me by giving me directions 
to show up where I needed to go. I'm just going to copy this just in case if it can't do anything with it. And I'm going to go into my improve text and I'm going to have the tool improve all that writing for me. So it's a little bit clearer, easier to, you know, read. And it says, okay, let me copy this to my clipboard as well. And we'll go over here to the people. Okay. Um, copy this, paste this before it. And of course, make this paragraph and put a space here and set this up as heading three. Okay, so wait, heading three, what is this? We have, this is should be heading three as well. Okay, just like that. So heading three, heading uh, three, some text here. Okay, the history. So the history of Dublin, Ireland. So I'm going to go back here, go to AI contents, type in the history. Let me type in the history of Dublin, Ireland. Just like that, okay? And I'm going to go over here to DaVinci 2. And uh, Dublin history is going to be my keyword. Just like this. All right. Dublin history is going to be my keyword. DaVinci 2, blog intro, and type in write. And let's see what it's going to write for us. And it says Dublin has a long and rich history. There you go. It's got a lot of text there. I'm not going to read it all, but you get what it says. So I'm going to hit copy. Go into the history. Paste this. Okay, Dublin has a long, rich history dating back to Viking Age. The city has a major center of trade, commerce, Middle Ages, all this kind of great stuff. Okay, the culture. So, uh, the culture. So, I'm going to go back to uh, the tool here, the AI writing tool, Typewriter Pro, and I'm just going to type in the culture of Dublin, Ireland is, and I'm going to put dot, 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 because I'm not even sure. And let's hit, let's type in Dublin culture. Okay, let's see, hit right. And something might come up and it might co not come up because I didn't give it too much information here. If it doesn't come up, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Um, okay, so a lot of, a lot of stuff came up. Okay. Um, so I'm going to copy this to the clipboard again. I have a habit of just copying and pasting, but um, culture. Okay. And the scenery, finally the scenery. So the section about the scenery, I'm just going to go to the scenery here. Uh, Dublin scenery, okay? And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to type in Dublin scenery. Dublin scenery, okay? And I'm going to have it as a list form, so I'm going to go to... Uh, let's see here, blog section, blog blog outline as a list, Dublin scenery, and I'm going to type in right, just like that. And best places, how to make Dublin scenery, nope, let's go ahead and have it right again. And I actually have to clear what I just wrote. Uh, and I'm actually, you know, I'm going to go to the playground for this. Um, and let's type in list of places for Dublin uh, list of places to visit to visit in Dublin so you guys are seeing me do this live um, obviously I'm not perfect at this but it's going to uh, do some stuff here and great so now we have literally a list of 10 places for the scenery okay so this was just one section of the website that we created okay just one sec uh, excuse me of the blog post that we created all right, I'm going to hit save so far. And so we crossed, we finished five reasons to visit Dublin, okay? Now we have top five things to do in Dublin, all right? And um, uh, that one's iffy, but uh, let's go over here and see list of foods to try in Dublin. Just like that. I'm going to hit right here. And we're that's essentially going to help us conquer a different section. Okay, there we go different section of the blog. So this is a whole different section. So we have list of foods. All right. Foods. And I'm writing the headline for it now. Foods to try in Dublin. Just like that. Okay. And I'm going to make this all capital. And basically what I'm doing is not capitals, excuse me, heading to. All right. And what I'm going to do is I have a space here. 
and I'm going to set this up as a paragraph. And why I'm doing this is because I'm creating sections to my blog post, right? So the first thing is we have five reasons to visit Dublin. We took care of that, right? Then we have foods to try out in Dublin. We took care of that. Um, now, the, with the things that we mentioned here, part of that has to do with the top five things to do in Dublin. So we're going to uh, mention um, a few other things, but... First, I'm going to get rid of this and just clean up this whole thing right now. So this was all written, like I said, by the tool made life a lot easier. So we have Irish stew, uh, bangers and mash, fish and chips, shepherd's pie, corned beef and cabbage, Irish soda bread, Irish breakfast. Now, I want to say this. This section right here, just this list, okay, of foods to try in Dublin. If I had to sit here and research every little thing, depending on how fast or slow I am, this could have took me from five minutes to an hour and a half. Just this section here, okay? I didn't need to do that, right? Because I let the AI take care of it for me. So this just shows you really what the AI is doing is 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 buying you time back. And that's the most important thing. It's buying you time. It's buying you ease of effort. So I'm, I'm, it's not really much work I have to do here. Uh, this section should not look like this. It should be um, it should be in paragraph form, of course. Uh, and what we're gonna do is. Just clean this up, right? Just clean it up. And we're going to add a intro to the actual blog post. So Dublin, Ireland. Uh, so we're going to have a blog intro right now. Uh, Dublin, Ireland is one of the most amazing cities in the world. Here is a blog post. on everything you will want to know before you visit right and I could write my own intro but I'm just curious as to what the machine is going to type I just you know I have the curiosity behind it now I could write my intro like I said but I'm copying this just in case the machine can't produce me a better result and I'm just gonna hit uh, uh, for the keyword Dublin City that's that's what I'm gonna write. And I'm gonna hit right here. And let's see. Dublin is one of the most amazing cities in the world. Here's a blog post on everything you will want to know before you visit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this. And that's probably and I usually the best way to write like a blog intro is I'll just type in Dublin, Ireland is a great city. Something like this, right? And go with three variations and just hit type. And it will literally produce three different variations of an intro for me. So here it says Dublin, Ireland is a great city to live in. There are plenty of things to do. People are friendly. The city is also clean and safe. If you're looking for a great place to live, Duff Dublin is definitely worth considering. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to copy that as well. So here are blog posts on everything you want to do before you visit. But also know that Dublin, Ireland is a great city to live in. So there you go. So you see how far... We got with this, okay, and there we go. So just set that up here and set this up into a paragraph form just like that. And you can see here, if we save this, we can actually go view this into the theme and see how, how our website looks. And you can see here, we have the whole entire article listed right here. Just like that. Now it says here no image. I'm going to have to create an image. And uh, I might as well do that with... Um, I think I might do that with Placeit. So you guys know Placeit is a great place to... Placeit.net. Great place to create your thumbnails. Create your 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 different mock-ups. All these kind of crazy things. Amazing things. And I'm going to do that right here right now in Placeit. So real quick, let me just pause this screen. Let me log in. Okay, so with Place It, I can search for like something like a YouTube thumbnail or like a blog. Let's see, a blog template maybe? A blog template? If not, I'll just search for a YouTube thumbnail because they're about the same size. But yeah, here we go. So I'm not going to use this blog template. I'm going to type in YouTube thumbnail. So for the YouTube thumbnail, they're about the same size as a blog banner or a blog image, right? So something like this. And... I'm going to type, I'm going to click on this first one here, and I'm going to have, what is this called again? Our blog is Dublin, Ireland, things to know before you visit. So here, 
I'm going to change the text to Dublin, Ireland. Right, just like that. I'm going to change some of the colors. So for Dublin, let's go with, uh, let's see here. Let's go with, for Dublin, let's go with green. Why not? Let's go with green. Right, so let's go with a, I want to go with a deeper green. So something like that. Something like that. Dublin. And then instead of the white, let's go with, yeah, let's stick with white. Why not? Dublin, Ireland. And then this text here, this font, I'm going to type in things to know. Right? Just like that. Things to know. And I'm going to remove this, like, amazing banner, whatever you want to call it, this section that says amazing. I'm going to hide that, get that out of the way. Now, this image of this individual, I'm going to uh, remove or edit or whatever you want to call it. Get it out of here and type in Dublin. Let's see here. Graphics, uploads. Let me type in Dublin. Let's see what happens. So nothing comes up. Let me type in Ireland. Okay, so we got a few things that come up, but I don't think they're going to be what I'm looking for exactly, to be 100% honest. Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't know 100% if that's what I want to go with. Um, let's go ahead and go into Pexels or something like that. Actually, let's go into the tool here. Let me go into my tool here to get the uh, images. And uh, let's search for Ireland. Let's see, look, let's look for generally, yeah, so I want I definitely want to go with an image like this. So, I mean, these are great images. These are all images related to uh, Dublin, Ireland. I could use, you know what I could do? I could use this image too. This image is not bad. Um, so, I'm going to upload them. So, I'll go over here to graphic. I'll hit edit on place it. I'll upload my own image. And once again, guys, place it. You guys are seeing, I'm creating literally a thumbnail live. So I'll go with this, increase the size, kind of like that, and go with something like this. Let's see what happens. Let's see what comes up. And, yeah, not, not ideal how the image just looks. Okay, so let's go ahead and undo that. Um, so, yeah, there we go. This is perfect. This is something... That I kind of wanted. Just like this. So Dublin, Ireland, things to know. I could also, and this is just a little FYI for you guys. I could, instead of going with an image like that, I can go with this. But it has to say Dublin on it, obviously. Um, but that's not a, actually not a bad idea. But uh, I'll, I'll probably figure that out later. But for now, I'm just showing you guys how to set this up here. And so what I did was... Uh, created basically a full blog in a, in a matter of a few minutes. And it, obviously, if I wasn't sitting here talking through it, you know, it could go by faster. Um, but you guys kind of get the point. And even if you have a, let's say, a VA or a virtual assistant, if they're doing this, this is better than, you know, if they're sitting there and typing it up manually themselves because this is faster. So Dublin, Ireland, things to know. And then we have like a list of things here. But... We will have to clean up this blog. Like, this blog is not acceptable the way it looks. Like, these spaces, too spaced out. These have to be bold, you know, things like that. It has to look a lot cleaner. But you kind of get the point of it as to how it's going to work. Now, behind the scenes, I'll be creating uh, a few blogs, a few blog posts. I might even post it on my DIY channel. Uh, for those who want to check it out, go to YouTube.com and search uh, DIY Income Tutorials. So DIY income tutorials, this channel is a lot of the, ch you know, I put a lot of the behind the scenes type of stuff here. So if you want to check it out, uh, check it out. Um, and I'll, I'll actually be doing some blog posts on there uh, behind the scenes. All right. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.